The big news is, that this is Ferrari's first FEF, plug-in hybrid vehicle, developing 986 bhp, or a nice round 1000 cv, if you're Italian. Doing the heavy lifting in the power stakes, is a heavily revised version, of Ferrari's twin turbo V8, which delivers 769 bhp. Adding further grunt are three e-motors delivering, a combined 217 bhp. The first is an F1 derived MG motor generator unit kinetic, located between the engine and gearbox, while a further two motors work on the front axle. So it's not just Ferrari's first FEF, but also its first AWD two-seat sports car. This PAL train has given the team at Maranello a chance to deploy top vectoring and all-wheel drive performance for more speed through the all-new and handily acronym-friendly RACE rotational axis control electric, which, judging by the results, takes the pursuit of speed to another level. Some very clever aero has been designed to create enough downforce to keep the most powerful Ferrari production car in history bolted to the planet. The headline is that the SF90 Stradale produces 390 kilograms of downforce at 155 miles per hour. To deliver that, the front of the SF90 features Vortex generators, a wing section front bumper, and two diffusers ahead of the front wheels to generate front end downforce. At the rear, the back edge of the engine cover features a suspended wing divided into two sections, the forward section of which can lower, acting as a gurney flap to increase downforce as required, or remain level to increase airflow and minimize drag. This is controlled by two actuators with huge processing power to constantly adjust the shutoff gurney to maximum effect. It seems the SF90 is set to redefine our understanding of Rapid being the fastest series production Ferrari of all time. Thanks to AWD and hybrid tech, the SF90 will propel its lucky occupants from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds and 0 to 124 miles per hour in 6.7. It tops out at 211 miles per hour. But that's merely the straight line bragging rights, and modern Ferraris have always been about so much more than straight line steps. To illustrate the performance of this regular series production car you need to compare it to the most recent limited series hypercar, La Ferrari. Around Fiorano, the SF90 Stradale will gap the La Ferrari by 64 meters a lap, such is the ceaseless march of technological progress. SF90 is code for the 90th anniversary of Scuderia Ferrari's formation and talks to the involvement the Scuderia had in the car's creation, not least in the area of the MGC, the e-motor mounted between the engine and the new 8-speed box. Stradale directly translates as road. The SF, while being brutally effective around Fiorano, is most definitely aimed at the road. The more observant of you, will have noticed the lack of door handles, on the side profile image of the car. This is good news given, that the ones on both the 488, and F8 have always looked, and felt like afterthoughts, and required cunning post rationalization, from the Maranello PR department about them being beneficial for Aero. For the SF90, Ferrari has tackled this tricky issue, from the outset. It features an all-new key, which allows for keyless entry and exit. Car thieves are heard to be delighted at the news, and was described by Ferrari CMO Enrico Galliera as a far more elegant solution. The handles themselves are cleverly mounted on the upper surface of the door, so as to minimize both the visual impact and aero disturbance. All you need to do is approach the car with the key in your pocket, push your fingers through the panel, flick the pressure pad, and you're in. Ferrari made a big play of the human-machine interface, something that anyone who has struggled to navigate the previous baffling system will be delighted by. 
The steering wheel continues to feature myriad buttons and, or bar the e Manatino, are touch sensitive rather than mechanical and feature haptic feedback. The starter button is now based at the bottom of the steering wheel, but we remain to be convinced that a haptic flat button is the most engaging way to fire up your Ferrari. Beyond the wheel sits an all-new full 16 inches curved TFT screen, configurable in many different ways. The slight curve helps to aid visibility and, having played with this new setup, we can say it sets Ferrari a class apart from the opposition. The SF90 Stradale also features a head-up display showing key information depending on what driving mode you're in. Given the car's performance, Ferrari is keen to do all it can to keep the driver's hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, which seems wise. Thanks to its FET tech, the SF90 won't irritate the neighbors when you leave early in the morning to get to work and earn the finance repayments. The new e Manatino features four new settings. First is an e-drive mode that allows you to silently slip out of the garage on pure rev power and cover 15 miles stealthily before having to flick to hybrid mode where the twin turbo V8 kicks in. Flick the e Manatino past hybrid and into performance and, unlike hybrid mode, this keeps the ice running constantly to keep the battery fully juiced and ready to unleash hell. If the SF90 Stradale is a bit ordinary for you, then may we humbly suggest opting for the Assetto Fiorano pack, which reduces the car's weight by 30 kilograms and features a more aggressive rear spoiler and blown forged wheels. These trick rims feature radial elements on the outside channels of the wheels that act like rotor blades, increasing the extraction of the air from the wheel and making the tear join the flow along the side of the Stradale to further reduce the car's drag. Whether that's something a mere mortal can actually feel from the driver's seat is up for debate, but it's a great start to bore your friends with down the pub.